This is Inspiration 107.9 FM, your station for the nation. Great morning is extended to you and yours, ladies and gentlemen. It's about that time that we get set for our morning prayer time this morning. I want to remind you this morning that the Bible admonishes us that men are to always pray and indeed faint not. As the psalmist said, I pray for you, you pray for me, and we'll watch God change things. Remember this morning that if your morning, afternoon, or evening is hemmed in prayer, it is less likely to unravel. And of course, James let, lets us know that the prayer of the righteous availeth much. In another interpretation, it says, has great power. And so what great power can be had when you and I come together and we look to the Lord in prayer? And so, ladies and gentlemen, as we get started to pray this morning, we'll be joined by uh, many persons that will come this week and pray for the nation and next week as I sit in for Dr. Sharice Ferguson these two weeks. And so we're inviting now to come and pray for the nation. No stranger to the morning prayer time. Minister Sabrina Martin, all the way from Pilgrim Baptist Temple, St. James Road, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, uh, she's coming now to pray for the nation. Great morning, Minister. How are you doing this morning? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Alive and well this morning. God is an awesome God. Indeed. Uh, well, we look forward to uh, hearing you pray for the nation this morning. Yeah, my pleasure, sir. Psalm 100 says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Now, Catholic, as we come as the Bahamas, as the Bahamas comes before God this morning, we come as a sovereign nation. We come lifting up this country before the Lord. And as we prepare to celebrate 50 years of independence, we say, look where God has brought us. And so, Father, it's in the name of Jesus that we call upon this God who says, call on me and I will answer you. And so we call on the God who answers by fire. We call on the God who answers by rain. We call on the God who answers in whatever way you want him to answer. We call on this God. Now, God, we call for your peace and your presence to reside in the commonwealth of the Bahamas. We ask, God, that you go from island to island, from end to end, from street to street, from corner to corner, and let your peace prevail. As we come this morning, we lift up our governments before you. We lift up our governor general, our prime minister, and his cabinet. We lift up the upper and the lower house. We lift up this country law enforcement officers. We pray in the name of Jesus that they will do a work that we have been called to do, and we pray, God, that they would know that they are not above the law. And so as we bring them before you, we bring up Her Majesty's prison before you. We bring the immigration before you. We bring the police department. We bring the defense force. We bring the customs department. Those people who sit and make rules for our land. We lift them up before you that even as they sit down, God, they prepare you as the first thing on their agenda. They put you at the round table, Father God. And so we ask now, God, that you would lead us and guide them, O oh God, as they make plans for the way forward for our country. We bless you and we praise you for the judges and the magistrates, for the lawyers. We praise you for the doctors and the nurses. We praise you for every patient that they will attend to. As we lift this country, we lift up the men and women of this country, those who have already paved the way for us, O oh God. We pray that you will continue to lead and guide this country for the things that have been set up for a country to be guided by. Now, God, we bring the young men and the young women out there who are contemplating to run havoc over our land. We stop them now in their tracks, and we say the peace and the presence of the Almighty God goes before them. We pray, God, that you would lead and guide them along the way. Father, we cover this land in the name of Jesus, under the blood of Jesus, and we say, no weapon that is formed against us prosper, but every tongue that rises itself against us in judgment, we condemn it right now. And so we decree and we declare right now that the God of all season watches over the Bahamas. As we are in the hurricane season, we call for the storm chaser right now to run everything that doesn't look like him away from our country. We call now God. 
God, we thank you for all that you have done, and we thank you for what you will do for this country. We pray, God, that you allow us to go 50 more years. God, we come with a praise on our lips, and we say, look where the Lord has brought us. You have brought us from a mighty long way, and God, we know that you will never leave us nor forsake us because your word tells us that, and we decree and we declare as we stand on your word, your word is power, and so we hold fast to your word, God, that you would lead us, for if Jesus lead this army, we will outshine the sun, and so we say now, God, go before us as a guiding light, God, lead us and guide us along the way, as we continue to lift up our heads to the rising sun, and we call on the sun, the prince of peace, hallelujah, the son of God, as we continue to follow you, God, you will lead this country aright. God, we give you thanks and we give you praise for the men and the women who reside, who reside in this country. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will keep us knitted together as a small sovereign nation. God, but that you will bless this country and make the wealth more common in our land. We thank you now, Father God. We bless you and we praise you for radio stations and NS. We thank you for the work, oh God, that they are doing out there. I bring every person as before you right now in the name of Jesus, and I ask that you bless. I lift up now, God, Cashel and Jamal and his family. I cover them, oh God. I cover every staff of ZNS. I plead the blood of Jesus over this radio station that they will continue to do what you are mandated a station to do. That's to lift up your name for your words. And if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. And so, Father, we thank you now. We praise you and we bless you. For thine is your kingdom, your power, and your glory forever and forever. Amen. Amen and amen. We thank you so much, Minister, for joining us this morning. Always a pleasure to have you on the line. God bless as well. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, joining us on the line, Minister Sabrina Martin, praying for the nation, ladies and gentlemen, our morning prayer time. Thank you so much for locking it in. Thanks so much for tuning in. We got much more show on the way for you, ladies and gentlemen. It goes.